I'll, uh, I'll make a qu quick introduction, then I'll speak about the state of the art uh, in this field. Uh, I will uh, illustrate the proposed architecture. I will uh, demonstrate the test and the implementation that we've done. And uh, finally, I will step to the conclusions and to the future work. What is the idea behind this paper? Uh, being a broadcasting uh, uh, conference, it is obvious for you and uh, for everybody that television is nowadays ubiquitous in the context of uh, home environment and has a very important role in delivering content. Uh, television and the TV has gained uh, a lot of more, more of attention in the last years uh, due to the fact that uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it managed to, to seamlessly integrate broad, broadcasting and uh, broadband television and uh, after several years of hiatus has gained, uh, as I said, more popularity. Another concept that has gained a lot of popularity in the last years is the concept of smart home, uh, which implies connecting, ve connecting various household appliances to a central hub from which a user can control and monitor them. The smart home concept is usually associated with the Internet of Things concept. Uh, the problem with the smart home concept is that it is usually fragmented and is very platform dependent and very user and uh, vendor depending. <coughs> so it could be an idea to unify on one hand the smart home concept and on the other hand the television and use the television also to control the smart uh, home environment. So this paper proposes an architecture to seamlessly integrate the consumer phones and tablets and the smart home environment with a HBB TV enabled television uh, in the quest of unifying the smart home experience. Uh, we did some, uh, some research before starting to work and uh, we found out that, that there are a lot of solutions on the, on the market, but these solutions are usually very uh, vendor dependent and they are not, uh, they are not uh, standardized. So all the analyzed solution and implementation miss though the main goals so uh, the, that the unifying experience of television and smart home should be in somehow, somehow standardized uh, using a standardized platform. So this was the idea uh, that uh, brought us to, to, this, uh, to write this paper and to implement this, uh, <coughs> this application that I'm, uh, I'm presenting here, uh, which is based on an HBB TV 2.0 companion screen and the multimedia synchronization framework. This framework can be very easily integrated in both existing TV platforms and also uh, in other devices such, for example, uh, uh, smart home local gateways or smartphone, providing standardization, so the much, much needed standardization that was the main idea behind this, uh, this paper. Uh, is, here is the HBB 2.0 enabled device. This is the gateway that we developed. This is a smartphone which connects to the HBB TV 2.0 enabled device. And these are the, let's say, the, the actors in the smart home environment. Uh, and uh, we, I, as I will show you, this smart home uh, gateway is able to connect to Wi-Fi, LoRa, Zigbee, and Bluetooth low energy uh, sensors and actuators. So the IoT gateway acts uh, practically as a manager for all the smart IoT devices available in the home environment and uh, also uh, puts at the disposition of the user the radio frequency interfaces for the most uh, IoT specific protocols, for example, Zigbee, Bluetooth, Low Energy and LoRa. Uh, the IoT gateway also acts as a, a companion screen device which enables to be discovered by the HBB TV uh, enabled TV set and uh, also for the Android based smartphones the solution provides a native app which enables the device to act also as a companion screen as well. The HBB TV application practically acts like a hub, let's say, which manages all the smartphone appliances as well as the, the smartphone events and presents all the required information directly on the screen to the consumer, enabling also the, the consumer to interact with all these uh, events and all these sensors that, that are in the smart home environment. So when the HBB TV app is started on the, on the TV or on the device, it starts looking for companion screen devices and tries to connect to them. The functions that uh, we implemented are display data from smart home devices via dashboard, control the smart home devices via this dashboard using the remote control unit, or a voice commands applicable or of course only for microphone enabled remote controls. And finally, um, we also implemented some automated features such as AutoPass currently playing broadcasting services on Dolber Ring, and also display live feed from an IP camera. 
For the implementation, we used uh, the following devices. For the HBB TV terminal, we used uh, an, uh, an NVIDIA Shield device provided by, uh, by one of the, um, the companies uh, that helped us in developing this, uh, this application. And for the smart home IoT gateway, we used the Raspberry <coughs> Pi, which, uh, um, uh, which gave us the support for the main IoT protocols that, uh, that are insured via COTS uh, modules. And also we used the URSRP 310 software-defined radio as the support for the main IoT protocols via the built-in RF interface. So we implemented both versions in order to, to have a, a proof of concept. Then I will come back later to, to why we, we used also a Raspberry Pi and a URSRP software-defined radio. As a cl thin client, we used a uh, Huawei uh, running Android 8.0 uh, telephone and uh, wireless sensor and actuators are uh, based on the following standards that you, get, that you can see here. LoRa, ZigBee, Bluetooth Low Energy and Wi-Fi. This is the, the, uh, the main architecture for the, for the gateway. <coughs> which is practically a manager for all the IoT devices available in the smart home environment, gives support for the most of the IoT-specific protocols, and uh, for the entire communication between the sensors and the applications, we used MQTT SN as data protocol, and uh, we implemented both on a USRP USRP E310 and also on a Raspberry Pi. The USRP costs a lot of money and uh, it's obviously not a good solution to implement it you know, on, a, on a wide scale. Uh, but we wanted to, <coughs> to use also the USRP to implement directly uh, the, the protocols, the radio frequency protocols, in order not to have external modules. But we also used the Raspberry Pi with some USB dongles that acted as, uh, as external COTS modules for the, <coughs> for the standards that we used. So for Bluetooth Low Energy, Wi-Fi and for ZigBee. The wireless sensor sensors and actuators uh, for the proof of concept, uh, following nodes were implemented. Uh, ZigBee node for temperature, humidity and motion sensor control, the Bluetooth low energy for light intensity sensor node and also for ambient light control nodes and uh, LoRa for blinds and air conditioning control nodes. From the hardware point of view, practically a node consists in, on, in a microcontroller, a power supply and a sensor and or an actuator and a wireless transceiver. On startup, each node tries to establish the MQTT uh, connection with the smart home gateways broker by sending an MQTT uh, connect message. And then he waits for the, for the answer. By doing this handshake, practically each, uh, each sensor can connect on startup with the, uh, uh, with the gateway. The Thin client was uh, implemented on an Android phone and uh, practically uh, <coughs> after launching the native app, a web socket connection is established which enables the exchange of data messages between the HBB TV device and the smartphone. The native app developed on the smartphone offers the following uh, functions. The remote control, which you can see here, it's uh, a little bit primitive as an interface but it is still uh, first proof of concept um, and then I can uh, I have another uh, 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 another interface which enables me to decide which of this uh, uh, which of these events will be transmitted to the to the smart home device and to the television for example the phone calls the SMS battery uh, warnings email WhatsApp Facebook Skype and so on the HBB TV app is practically the central piece of the, pro of the proposed solutions and uh, we had a little bit of, uh, of a problem in, um, in deciding how to implement the HBB TV app because the standard uh, says that uh, the HBB TV app, TV app must not be a broadcast related application and also must not be a broadcast independent application. So the solution was uh, to use uh, a part of the standard which is called OpApp, which ensures a homogeneous user experience all across the services of the operator. This is the application. Uh, all, the, all the communication between the HBB TV terminal and uh, the, um, the gateway is done by using WebSockets and the data exchange between smart home the smart home gateway and the HBB TV app is both poof push and pull based. Upon loading, the HBB TV app uh, via the established web service, uh, WebSocket connections pulls the information from the sensors and displays it on the screen. Here you have some, uh, some examples of the notification and I, will, I also have some, some videos of, for these notifications. For example, the SMS that arrives from, uh, from, from on the phone is pushed 
practically to the, to, the, to, the, to the screen, and here is the notification. The ringing of, uh, of the doorbell is pushed also to the screen together with the, uh, with the image collected from the and from an IP cam, and also the, the call on the telephone is pushed to the, to the screen. So, practically, we implemented this novel architecture, which integrates a smart home environment with the uh, HBB TV enabled television set using the HBB TV 2.0 companion screen and multimedia synchronization framework. Future work will include uh, to add other, also other features to, 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 to the, to the developed, uh, developed architecture and also evaluate the impact on the users. Actually, we are working together with Maurizio Borori, my colleague from Cagliari, in order to, uh, to evaluate the impact that these, that these notifications have on the users in order to be not annoying and uh, not, to, not to be a, a downfall of this application, practically. I can show you also some videos. Okay, so the SMS notification arrives. Incoming call notification. The user, of course, has the possibility to answer or to reject the call by, uh, by using the remote control. The doorbell, the notification together with the IP cam. That's the, ima the image from the IP cam. That's the notification here. And also the possibility to navigate with the, with the remote control in order to see, for example, the IP cams, to, to get the data from the, from the sensors, uh, to command some blinds, some air conditioning, everything else. Mm -hmm.